we're back again. Uh, it's been a long time since uh, last video, but um, we're hoping to perhaps um, um, be able to uh, publish a little more often from now on. Today I'm going to show you a little about um, the underneck and the top line of, uh, top line of the horse and how they are um, influence, influencing each other. Um, this is McNeil. He's, um, he's a pony. He's a little fat. But he, what, what is special with him, uh, the reason why I've chosen him for today, is that, is that he is, as you can see, he's rather sway-backed. And his underneck is quite active. I'll, I'll just um, make sure that he stands so that you can see. No, he thinks that uh, he's. Um, he thinks that I want him to go sideways. You can see that he's. He's um, whenever he is moving, he is raising his head, and his t his underneck is really bulging out here, and his back goes down. And of course uh, the the. Um, the goal for the riding and the training is that the, the hind legs should start carrying more weight. But as long as the back is down like this, it's impossible for the hindquarters to take. Yeah, you might, you might be able to, to, um, to move the hind, hind legs under the horse, but it's impossible for him to carry and lift the, the front part up because the back is down. You can't carry some, anything with, with a back like that. So what I'm going to show you today is, that, is how I'm, uh, I'm checking the horse from the front to make sure that the movement from the hindquarters can pass through the whole top line and lift lift the, the withers here out of the shoulders so that the, the withers come up. That's the only way for the horse to transfer weight from the, the front legs to the hind legs. So, um, the first thing I do is to check if the horse is stiff here. The first joints in the, in the neck, uh, between the skull, and the atlas bone and the axis bone, two, the two first uh, joints. And I, then I'll, I'll just do this. And if I have a cavison, it's even easier. Because you can see that he, he is not very happy when I try to position his head like this. And I can, in order to, to get more uh, correct hold of his head, I can do this. And he, he, he's not very happy about this. And then that's a very important message from him to me. He's saying to me that um, I, don't, I don't like that. It's uh, perhaps it's painful, he's stiff, something like that. But then it, that's not the message for me to stop doing it. It's the message for me that I must fix this problem, this stiffness. And if I just do this, and I said to him, yeah, that's good. He can do this when, when he's standing still. And then he, by himself, wants to lower his head and stretch his neck. And then if he does that, he might be able to lift his back a little. Now I'm go going to do this while he is moving. Because we need to do this when the horse is moving, because his shoulders are moving. And he needs to stretch them as well. So, now I'm mobilizing him, but just asking him to do this. And I need to let him, um, I need to let him get, do this over, over some time. Because 
when he's stiff, when everybody is stiff, you need to have time to get more mobilized. You can't just do it right away. Yeah. There. Now he's stretching. Yeah. And then I need to let him stretch really low. Really low. Because then he's able to lift his withers and his back. And after a while, you, we can also see that his hind legs will be able to move more under his body when his, when his tummy gets out there. Okay, that was okay, wasn't it? Come on, do it more. When this, the horse is snorting like that, he's able to breathe more deeply. And it uh, always comes when some tension is loosening up. I'll try to make him trot a little. I don't know if he will manage, but we'll try. Make him trave. Trave. Good boy. Now he says to me, ah, oh, this is difficult because then I have to put my hindquarters under. No, it's impossible. Come here, trave. Yeah, flink it, come here. Dig, dig. Now he's trying to lift his back a little. I have to ask him to remind him all the time that this, this hindquarters, this hind leg is the one that is creating the motion. Trave. Dikti. Bra. And he's, he's telling me now that um, this is difficult. It's difficult for him to kick um, off with the, hind, uh, the left hind leg. And that's a very important uh, message for me as, as a trainer. We, we should not discourage the horse from telling what is wrong. Many people try to... Um, reward the horse for not uh, protesting but I think that protests are really really uh, important and uh, a very important um, tool for me as a trainer to see where is the problem. The horse is actually telling me where the problem is. So just to, to uh, sum up what we've been talking about and he doesn't want to show you his side. You can see his, his under neck, the muscles here, is blocking for his back. And if I, I can try to show you from the, the other side, if I make him Stretch. He is stretching his back a little, but not much, because this will take time to train. And uh, when we come to other the, the other movies or videos that we are going to make, we'll show you how to to fix this in the next step when he when the horse is not so stiff so that we can uh, go, um, go on to, um, to ride the horse and to, to get a horse that is balanced and over the back. Thank you.
If you hate us or love us, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.